All right, um, it says n is a positive integer for this question, number 108, and the product of all integers 1 through n, um, but inclusive, is divisible by 990. What is the least possible value of n? So what we have is a situation where they're telling us there's this long division, long stuff, a uh, series of numbers, 1, you know, 2, 3, you know, like that. This goes all the way to like an n. And they're telling us this is divisible by 990, okay? Divisible by 990. Um, and it's asking us, hey, you know, what is the least thing, the smallest thing that this n must have to make this stuff divisible? So let's kind of think about that. We first of all we need to understand the word um, divisible. Divisible simply just says can can be divided, but more importantly that the bottom can be used up. So it's very important as we think of divisibility to think about well, what are the special things that are in this number at the bottom that need to be used up in a division? Meaning there's, there shouldn't be anything left over when you're done dividing everything in this 990 with all the numbers up here. So if you think about 990, 990 is seem pretty much, pretty much, let me break it up here. It's pretty much 99 and 10. And then if you break that up, you get 9 and uh, 11 there. Uh, you could go ahead and break it up some more, but for what we need right here, the most important thing the most important thing here really would be just these numbers as we have it now you could break it out some more but I just really want to make a point with this 9 10 and 11 okay now obviously we know up here we're still gonna have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way to whatever this n is whatever this n is okay well um, if this 990 is to be divisible in this whole thing we must have at least 9 um, in, well, well, we must have, well, actually, we can have 9, we must have 9, although this 9 can be dealt with with other numbers, like for example, along the way you get 5 and 6, right? Another way you could deal with this 9, you don't necessarily have to have a 9 here, but you can have 9 because 3 will produce 9, well, 3 will produce a 3, and this 6, for example, will produce an extra 3 in it because 6 is 2 times 3, right? So 3 times 3 there is 9. So that deals with that. But if you look at this, the only thing that nothing else can kind of take care of is this 11. For this stuff to be divisible, for 990 to be divisible, which is made up of 9, 10, and 11, you must have, this n must at least go up to 11. It needs to go up to 11. It could be, and the acts are the least. So that's the least thing you can have if it's to be, to be, to, if it's to be divisible. If you do not have this 11 here, say it's this n ended up at like 8 or 10, well, it's not going to be divisible because even 9 will go and 10 will go, this 11 will be left over and it will not be divisible. So this least number that this n must have is 11. So that, that way, this 11 can cross out. We already know that 9 can be taken care of if it goes up to 11, obviously, to, to have 9 and 10 in it. So 9 can go in 9, the 10 can go in 10. But the 11 must be there. It's the only way 11 can um, be crossed out. So as a result, when they ask for the least number that this must have, it must have D11 in it just because we break down the 990 and we really spot what's inside and we see, okay, everything at the bottom has to be used up for a number to be divisible. And that's your answer.